Hi there, this is Dr. Ombuddy, and just for kicks and giggles, I thought I would show you what it's like to write a program in Python. Uh, this uses stuff that, uh, this is the kind of thing that you'll be able to do at the end of the semester. This is not where, where we start. Um, I haven't done this before, so I just thought I'd, I'd give this a try. I had to write a program for managing things. The, you filled out a survey for and uh, it's got all the engineering students in there and somebody yanked out the computer science ones. It's an Excel file. So how many students do we have that are in other places and what other places are there? Um, so I'm gonna write a program and you can follow along. All right, so let's, so, so I got this spreadsheet and uh, one of the things I want to do is uh, take this spreadsheet and save it as a uh, CSV file because then it's very easy for us to work with it. So somewhere down here there's CSV. Uh, we'll save it as that. And it sends me a little you know, notice that, uh, that maybe there, you know that some things are lost. That's okay. Uh, so I come into Spider, open up a, a new file. I'm not going to worry about Get, I'm going to get that out of the way for the moment. And uh, because this is a CSV file, I'm going to import CSV. And then I'm going to uh, open the file. And let's see, this thing is called C uh, CSE space Friday space uh, update dot CSV. And one of the things I always do is uh, see if I can, in fact, read the file. And so what I do is I uh, go through the file and I'll just print every line if this is all working. There's a little warning there because I'm not using the CSV yet. Uh, so we'll save this and uh, in my data directory. Um, and I'll call it uh, locations. All right, so now we got a file. Let's run this guy. And there's a whole bunch of information in there. It looks like we got it. So I successfully opened the file. Now let's make a reader. Um, and it looks like there's a, a header line. So let, we will skip the uh, align in the header and and what notice one of the things I do is uh, so, so this thing is a, a list and so for headers I, I will do that so what I've done now is these uh, what that line did is that create that uses this CSV and that's just a cleaner way if if the uh, CSV re file it has got some messy stuff in it, which often happens with Excel. Um, that program is smart enough to do those kinds of things and you know, or to clean those, to handle those kinds of things. Next skips the header line and then I'm just going to just see if I can print them all out again. And they came out. It looks a little different because these are coming out as lists, but that's what I am looking for. So it looks like, like we, we've uh, got things. Now when I look at this file, now we count um, by, uh, you know, zero, we start counting at zero. So here's the CSE and there is the course name 231. So let's extract out the, the lines with those on it. So it's zero, one, two for the CSE and three for the 231. And so now what I can do is I can print out, uh, what did I say? Uh, zero, one, two, and three. Okay, so we'll print. Uh, so I've got my, my uh, line list here. That's the name of things. And we will print line list uh, two and line list three. And let's see if that gives me, there we go. There's all the CSE. Uh, there's some weird stuff at the end there. Um, that's good. So now 
uh, we're, we're getting that information. Let's call the first one the, uh, I don't know, department. And let's cut the, uh, oops. Let's get that. I'm not quite sure what happened. There was the two, and let's say course. And so I, I've just given names to those. Just double check. Notice how I just write a little bit of, of code. I got an error here. That's because I have a typo. All right. Notice I, I always just write a little bit of code and test things out. Okay, those things printed out. Um, now what I want to do is uh, if course equals double equals uh, 231, then we'll print the uh, department and course. So this time I should just get CSE 231, which I do. That's good. Okay, so uh, now now we get to the now we get to the fun stuff. Uh, I want to collect these, and there's a couple of different categories here, and some a variety of names that can show up in there. So I'm going to create this thing called a dictionary. I'll just have it uh, be ha have a name uh, be empty, and uh, so now if we've got 231, we have uh, this. so this is in column four. We have the greater Lansing area. And uh, okay, so let's build those up. So um, what do we call this? Uh, I'll call it region uh, equals line list. That's in uh, column four and. All right, so what do we want to do? We want to start adding to our dictionaries. So if region is uh, in my dictionary, so uh, the region is already in there. Um, and uh, notice that if um, huh, elsewhere in Michigan, Florida, uh, that's not really, oh, um, there's a town called Florida in Michigan, probably, uh, but I don't really care about that. Um, I care about, um, okay, and uh, other states and outside the U.S. Oh, so if this begins with an O, then we want to capture this state. All right, so if the region is in there, um, and let's see if the first character that would be character zero is equal to the letter capital O um, then what we want to do is say D region um, we want a list of countries or states in the region. So we will append uh, uh, state, uh, I'll call this subregion. And that's in the next column five. All right, then we will append the subregion. All right. Um, else, it's not. Uh, region is not in D, and I have a little error there because um, of a typo. Else, there we go. That that's happier. Region is not in D, and so. Um, Oops. 
So if the region is in there, uh, ooh, I want to have two pieces of information. Uh, hmm, got to think about this. Uh, so one thing I would like to do is say that I'd like to have a count. So I'd like to have a count and I'd also like to have states if they have them. So um, we will want to have a count and a uh, Rid of that. So if we aren't collecting subregions, then uh, D of region, we will add one to my count. If it is, if the region has that, then Uh, so the region is in there and I will want to increment the count let's make that a uh, uh, a tuple so we need two values there and then the list we will append on to. Okay, uh, so that means if it's new, we basically want to copy that. And if it's there, then we will start with a count of one and we will have a, uh, a list with only the subregion in it. And here, this will be a count of one. All right, so what, do we, what have we done here? So if we don't have this information, if it's uh, one of the ones that we're gonna collect the subregion on, it's gonna have two values, it's gonna have a uh, a, a count which is going to start at one and we're going to start building a list of the subregions and so uh, we have zero and one there for that and then if it's just any of the, one of the other regions we're just going to uh, have a count of that and we're only doing this if uh, CSE 231 so what happens if I run this guy here um, Okay, so we got a key error. So that means I, I screwed this up. Uh, so I have the region is not in D and uh, it gives me a key error of ah, D01. Ah, I didn't initialize it. D region um, yeah that's what my problem was okay d region equals uh, we'll make it a list with a one and with and within that a subregion there we go now now when I come through, I'm going to define this. It's going to have two parts, the count, which will have a one, and then it will have a list within the list of the, now my keys will work out. Um, gee, what does my D look like? Uh, so outside of the United States, we have 18. We have uh, 17 in other U.S. states. We have elsewhere in Michigan, 93, and we have 
uh, that many in the Lansing area. Now I can uh, write this out a little nicer for key and value in my dictionary. I can, oops, kv and d dot items. Yep, uh, we'll print the uh, key on one line and uh, we'll print uh, v zero on one line and we'll print v one uh, no that doesn't work let's just print v because my v's are different let's see if that prints a little nicer um, so we have uh, Greater Lansing area, the 72. Elsewhere in Michigan is, is uh, 93. Um, oh, yeah, we can do this. Let's see if we can make this a little bit nicer. Uh, if, okay, if, so if the first character uh, is that capital letter O, then we will uh, print uh, V sub zero, and we'll follow it up by printing V sub one. Else, We'll just print the uh, V. And I, I see my little error message there, and I have a typo. There we go. Nope, we still have a typo. How's that? There we go. And now, here we go. There's some useful information. Greater Lansing area is 72. Elsewhere is 93. Other states are 17. There they are outside the United States. Now the one thing um, I might want to do is uh, let's try uh, you know it might be nice to sort that before I print it uh, and so let's see that's that's the list right there let's just sort it Ah, there we go. Oh, look at that. We've got multiple ones. So it would have been nice to uh, look at that Texas, but uh, so that's, that's not a bad. Uh, the only thing is, is I have multiple ones of these and it might be nice, in fact, to uh, uh, do those separately. And how might I do those separately? Well, rather than making this a list, I could make this a dictionary it would get a little bit messier and I don't really gain all that much uh, information. This way I can I can see what's there. So uh, that's a way to, uh, I, I just wrote a program. Uh, let's take a quick review of this. Uh, so I imported CSV. I opened the file, got the file name right. I created this reader thing that's to uh, read CSV files. I skipped the header because I didn't want that, didn't have any useful information. I created a dictionary <clears throat> and then I walk through this file one line at a time and it actually creates a list so that I can access items by uh, item zero, item one, item two, item three, and so on. And by looking at that, we knew that the uh, department was in zero, one, two, so we were interested in the items in, in two, three, four and five and I just gave them some names department course region and subregion two three four and five and now I'm only interested in if the course is 231 we'll just skip all the all the other uh, CSE courses um, and now I am going to uh, build this uh, dictionary based upon whatever the names that are in there notice that these names like elsewhere in, 
in Lansing or Greater Lansing, I mean, elsewhere in Michigan, Greater Lansing area, other states. Notice that doesn't appear in this code at all. We build that on the, uh, on the fly. So, uh, so we first of all check, you know, have I seen this region before? If not, it's not in the dictionary yet, uh, then I have, if it's just a regular region, I start counting one, you know, like it's the greater Lansing area or whatever. But the, other, but the ones that had more information, they happened to begin with O, so I used that. And, and I said, all right, so if the region starts with an O, then I will have a count and start a list of subregions. If it turns out that, that uh, the region is already in there, like we've already seen other US states, I will check and and see oh if it's one of the ones that starts with O, we uh, uh, add one to the count and then we add the subregion into my list uh, and if it's if it's one of the others we just add one to it and all this here is just to print it out nicely um, there's two components in a dictionary a key and a value so we print the key and then there were two possibilities for the values. Again, if it started with O, there were actually two pieces of information there, otherwise not. I just wrote a program. At the end of the semester, you will think that this was an easy thing to do.